What's up, YouTube? It's Jeffrey again. Today we're doing, for the very first time, a plushie review. Now, technically, this isn't your average plushie that you find from the stores. You have to win this from a carnival. Today, we are reviewing the Garfield plush that uh, you won at a carnival. So let's not waste time. Let's get to it. <music> Wow, this guy, like, it was relatively easy for me to win this guy right here. Now, Garfield, we all know he's a cat, and he, he's a famous comic strip cat. From uh, He was created in 1978 by uh, Paws Incorporated and Jim Davis. Garfield is currently now 40 years old in, you know, cat years. If you compare that to human years, that would be, like, extremely old now anyways let me stop rambling and now let me get on to this giant carnival plush he's got that you know trademark garfield smile he's more excited rather than his you know lazy kind of smile and garfield's got the nice pink nose it's the nose is made of plastic not you know like felt like how the most of the plushie is now this guy is huge like, look at this. His head is about the same height as my head in real life, of, you know, if you're scaling. Meaning, he is actually the actual size of an actual, like, cat. Like, if you were wondering what type of cat he would resemble, he resembles more like a uh, exotic short hair. Exotic short hair cat, like, with, that's an orange tabby. Well, yeah, because Garfield's an orange tabby. How I got this guy was, um, I went to a carnival and I decided to play the balloon pop game. You know, where you throw darts at balloons and see how many you can pop to win a prize. Like, and so I started on my first dart and for some reason, some reason, I got the big prize, like, ranking on the first try. I don't know why, either that or the dart must have hit the first balloon and when the balloon popped, it knocked off the dart from the wall and causing other balloons to pop. Honestly, I do not know how. Like, of course, I'm not sure where you can find this Garfield. Now, I know you can find him at carnivals, but this guy's pretty old now because I've had him for a few years. Now, he may look like he's a soft plushie, but this guy, like, if you don't believe me, like, this is styrofoam. That's styrofoam inside the plushie in the shape of Garfield. Unless it's possible that it could be newspaper. I don't know. But, you could still squeeze a bit, but it'll retain its shape. Like, yeah, and he's got the, you know, the striping details on the sides of his face. He's got the ear details. And on the back of him, there's this little hanger where he was hung on the, on the auction of the game. So you can hang him on anything you like, like a nice little a hook that you put your jackets on. So if you ever want to have him, like, floating. Sorry for that um, Stephen King It reference. Anyways, like... Wait, why am I referencing it to Garfield? I mean, that doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm just messing around. Just ignore, ignore me on that one. So he's got a lot of um, tabby stripe patterns. Like, he's got five stripes on the top and on sides. And then it gets slightly to the six stripes. And then, yeah, and then it goes back to the, you know, five. Like... I'm not going to count how many of these spot stripes that there are because that would just take way too much time for me to count. Now the tail, it's also got that, that styrofoam material in there that you would see on average carnival toys that are, you know, in the big scale, like this guy right here. Like, it's a separate stitched on piece. And you can see it's also got that big black, you know, fur style that, you know, in the stripes that an average tabby cat would have. Okay, let's get him back to the front. Okay. 
Now, where's the tag, you might ask? It's right on his leg. It says Garfield Odie, meaning it's possible that there was an Odie plushie around there. But I didn't see Odie, so meaning that Odie was just on the tag, just, you know, because Odie is Garfield's companion and partner in crime and shenanigans and stuff. So, in conclusion, if you ever find this Garfield plush that is created by uh, Paws Incorporated, I don't know what the company brand to make this toy was, but um, I know it was at Carnival. Okay? Okay. So, I hope you like this nice review of the Garfield plush, and I wonder what you want me to review next. This is Jeffrey Samborski, and I am out.